Next we come to the set command. The set command is the assignment statement for mumps. What normally happens is there's an expression on the right hand side of the equal sign, it's evaluated, and the value is stored in the variable which appears on the left hand side. This is the normal situation, it's probably what you see most of the time. There are some exceptions. The exceptions we'll see later do allow you to have a function on the left hand side which determines where in the variable the value from the right hand side is going to be stored. We'll see that when we get to the piece function and um, extract and some others. Um, note that the form a equals b equals c equals 10, which you might use in something like C or C++, does not work in mumps. You have to use the form, um, as you see in the first example, a is equal to 10, comma b is equal to 20, c is e comma c is equal to 30. That's the only way of doing multiple assignments. Uh, you cannot do it in the cascading form that is common to C or C++. Uh, next, the database transaction commands. These never really became part of the standard. Uh, some of the implementations do use them. They're designed to synchronize your database activities. In my version of MUMPS, we don't use them at all because if you want them, you should use uh, MySQL or PostgreSQL as the backstore for your global arrays, in which case you would then use the normal SQL synchronization commands, which are very similar. So transaction start, commit, rollback, they, they exist in SQL as well. But uh, since the database would be managed by either PostgreSQL or MySQL, the mumps commands would be irrelevant. You send through the commands that you want them uh, to execute from, uh, from the actual backend database. The use command we've looked at before, it's very simple. It's the word use followed by the unit number you wish to switch to. And once you've switched to a unit number, the default, by the way, is 5 when you first start up. And again, this may vary by implementation. Once you've switched to a unit number, you stay in that unit number until you change it. So all reads and writes go to that unit number. So, it's a, you know, so this is a source of error in many cases. People say they open a file um, for input and assign it to, say, unit number 1 and they read from it, then they forget and they try to write something out, say a prompt or something back to the keyboard, and what they're trying to do is write to an input file and a, a failure develops. The view command um, is implementation defined. It's, uh, it's up to the implementer as to what you see when you do a view. It's normal, it was normally used or originally designed for debugging, uh, so you could, uh, in a program, it could show you what was going on inside the interpreter. I, uh, I, it's not used in my mumps at all. It uh, is used in different ways in the other implementations.